Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The search is on for 10 people after this smash and grab robbery. A jewelry store at the Roseville Galleria hit with sledgehammers Friday. Police saying the suspects had a gun and took off in a silver Chevy and orange Dodge Charger. A man under arrest in Florida after crashing his car into golfers and hurting them. He's facing aggravated assault and battery. The man calling himself Florida Man during the attack. Vice President Kamala Harris and other members of the Biden administration crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama today. 57 years ago, civil rights marchers were beaten on the bridge, all broadcast live on national TV. During today's event, a renewed push for voting rights legislation. We will keep fighting. We will keep organizing. We will keep shouting. We will keep making good trouble. The People's Convoy, a group of truckers protesting COVID-19 restrictions, making their voices heard. They clogged roads known as DC's Beltway. I'm a patriot and I always have been and um, I'm really outraged at what's been done to the country under COVID. A legal battle still brewing at UC Berkeley. Today, the university declined a neighborhood group's offer to admit 1,000 more students after the courts ruled in that group's favor to freeze the university's enrollment numbers. The father accused of shooting and killing his three children, another man and himself in an ardent arcade church is now said to have had a ghost gun. David Mora also had an illegal magazine and 17 bullets. Investigators do not know how or when he got these. One person is hurt after a motor home fire in North Highlands. Utility lines and a house were threatened by these flames last night. An investigation is ongoing. Hours after Caltrans bombed this massive rock on Highway 50 at Echo Summit, another boulder came down hitting a truck. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Following a pandemic hiatus, Free Museum Day returned to in-person this year. About 20 museums participated in Sacramento. And new research is out about about pets and the pandemic. According to the New York Times, almost 35% of dogs and even more cats were diagnosed as overweight in 2020. Veterinarians blame it on overeating and not enough walks and playtime. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.